Hello, my name is Alex. I work with Bonfi. I am a sewer advisor here. I've been doing this for four years now. And what we are going to be reviewing today is a customer's line where we recommended a few solutions and why that is. So right here, we do start off at 30 feet, which is right making our way around a bend here. We'll be going around. We are in six inch clay tile here, coming back from the city sewers. First thing you can see here at 26 feet, so in the six inch clay tile section, <clears throat> there is something called an offset. So that is where the joints have now separated apart from each other. Now typically those offsets can be caused from either ground movement itself or tree roots trying to break through the line. Now offsets can lead to major damage, including collapses in the end result. Another thing we see here at 25 feet is another offset, which you can actually see the roots have broken through the line here. Now, typically with tree roots, the only reason they come into a line is if there is a leak of water somehow managing to make its way into the soil. Obviously, the starting route of that happening is due to some typically offsets caused by ground movement causing that leak, which then the roots will begin to break through the sections or the joints of the line due to it being the weakest spot in a sewer. Here at 21.4 feet, we also do have a little bit of an offset on the top corner there as well. Tip, like I said, typically caused from ground movement. <clears throat> now here, located at 17 feet, we do get into a repair where PVC has been installed Typically, the only time you'll ever see that happen is if there was an actual collapse inside of the line itself to where <clears throat> the solution of a spot repair was given. Now we get back into the six inch clay tile. Now, one thing we are gonna see in this line are major, major fracture lines going throughout the entire six inch clay tile sections. Typically, when you see something like that, that is caused due to the pipe actually smushing itself so it becomes a deformed shape. <clears throat> now, with these cracks, the big things that you can begin to start to see is tree roots breaking through them. With major fracture lines like this, especially as you see here at 12 and a half feet, the cracks are very large in size. Typically, when you start to see that, the next step of that could actually be partial collapses beginning to occur. Here at 9.7 feet, you're going to also see in this entire section of clay tile, there are major fracture lines as well that have began spider webbing around the pipe. Now, typically with these spider web fractures, they kind of happen like a windshield on a car. If your windshield has unfortunately ever been hit by a rock, like you have seen in the past, you'll begin to see the spider webbing beginning to occur. Now, the big difference between clay tile and a windshield, of course, is going to be a windshield has a protective cover to keep it from shattering, whereas a pipe does not. Now we get back into the PVC from the six inch clay tile. Now with all of the issues that we have found today, the biggest thing I recommended this customer to was the solution of our liner. Now, typically with this liner, it is shot in with braided fiberglass and resin, which then is expanded to the pipe, and then it is completely cured using our UV light technology. Now, the biggest thing we do with our liner is lifetime warranty it, meaning you will never deal with a problem again.